What's going on, man? It's your big bro, Train. You tuning in again to another exclusive video. I'm going to get right down into the bottom of this video this, today. Um, happy Sunday to everybody out there. Uh, but unfortunately, this Sunday doesn't feel like every Sunday. Okay, this is a different day right here. It's a different energy. It's a different vibe. And I don't know if you heard or not. I'm not going to play the clips. I, want, I wanted to put the clips inside the video, but I was so anxious to get down into this topic that I didn't even really want to spend time editing the clips on my Apple Studio computer and even making the clips, okay? I just want to tell y'all like it is, okay? Um, <clears throat> Donald Trump was almost assassinated yesterday, folks, okay? Somebody somebody did an uh, attempted assassination, yeah, like something straight out of a Netflix film. Somebody tried to kill Donald Trump yesterday when he was doing his rally, uh, I think it was in Indianapolis, Indianapolis, Kentucky. I don't have all my facts together. I just wanted to get this video right away, but he was doing his speech, uh, somewhere. And just like the Netflix films, somebody was on top of a building and they tried to snipe him and they tried to kill him, but they only shot him in the, um, in the, um, right ear. Okay. And he's, he's safe. The secret service you know, got them all secure and they took them to the car and everything. Okay, let me say that one more time, folks, for those in the back that didn't hear. The former president of the United States of America was almost killed yesterday. The guy who's running right now that's facing Joe Biden and battling with Joe Biden to become the president, he was almost assassinated yesterday. And the reason why I'm saying it like that, like the reason why I'm acting like that is because yesterday I went inside this this local lounge that I go to and I went in, I was the first one to hear about it. I was at a QT uh, gas station and I came out the QT and I got my phone and I looked on Instagram. As soon as I got on Instagram, I seen like, you know, the Secret Services, a picture of the Secret Services, him and up Donald Trump. And I'm just, and they say like, they almost killed him. And I'm just like, yeah, that can't be real. So I threw it to my girl. She was like, what? Ain't, ain't, ain't. We turned the music up. We kept riding on the highway. And I didn't think it was real. But in the back of my mind, I knew it was real. In the back of my mind, I knew it was kind of real. Because I'm like, I already know how many people hating on Donald Trump. I know how many people. So I get to this restaurant that I'm telling y'all about. Uh, I'm not going to say the name of the restaurant. But I went inside there. And I was like, it had TVs playing in there and stuff. I'm like, hey, can y'all please turn on the news and um, they just almost killed the former president of the United States. He got shot. And then this this girl hears me. The, the, the person I was talking to was like, okay, we're going to check. And then this other girl hears me. She's like, well, I don't think we need to play that here because the environment here, it, it needs to be cheerful and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, I understand. I, I understand. I understand. She completely just eavesdropped in on our conversation about me putting that, um, that on the news. You know what I mean? And, and she went to the back. She's like, well, let me... The other girl was like, let me ask my manager. Let me ask my manager if we can put that on. Well, it, now, mind you, folks, it didn't have nothing to do with her. I was talking to the to the woman that was talking to me that worked at the spot. I was telling her to put it on because she was already like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to see if they can do it. I'm going to see if they can do it. And this midnight just eavesdropped. She just eavesdropped in on our conversation. So she goes to the back like, yeah, he said... They said, no, sh shut up. Shut up, you bot. See, that be the devil, y'all. That's the devil. The devil don't want us to win. The devil don't want chosen ones to become anything. And make a long story short, we did not get the news of the former president broadcasted on the television in that spot. Everybody was just acting handy and dandy like nothing happened. Like, for instance, if a bomb dropped on New York City and I went into that restaurant and I told them, hey, bombs are dropping on New York City right now. China has just dropped bombs on New York City. Then they'll be like, no, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. And the manager said that. How dumb can you be? But you know what? I'm used to that. That's that's how that's what that's how our country has become. Our country has become everybody is so discombobulated and so unaware of things that are going on in this country that everybody has tapped out of real reality. Including spiritual people, including Christian people, even your parents, okay? 
including the very people that you know that's friends around you. They don't even know nothing about the political system. We have become so dysfunctional in this country that we don't even know our own political system and politics. And that means the news. As far as the news goes, people don't even watch the news no more because everybody says that the news is toxic, is bad, which I totally agree. But you got to keep in mind that the news is a system, okay? The news is a machine, okay? The news is the matrix. And sometimes the matrix, it's, it's, just, it's, like, it's like a bully in a classroom. It's like if you keep letting Danny, who's the bully of the school, bully people and nobody ever stands up to the bully, then he's going to continue to bully people forever and ever. Ah, oh, man. But at some point, don't it come across your mind to be like, you know what? I'm David. I can defeat Goliath. You feel me? And that's what we need to do as a chosen one community, you know, as people that claim to be spiritual, people that claim to have all this power and stuff. Now is the time to make a stand to step up and say, you know what? We should run the political system. We should run the educational system. We should run the entertainment system. Rappers out there who can't become a superstar artist because the devils are taking over everything and making everything toxic to where they're the, the, making women look like bad people. They're making drugs popular and Percocets and stuff like that and opioids. You feel me? We should, we should take back all the industries, the food industry. We should take it back, make the foods more nutrition, you know, where we can go into a store and we can buy a watermelon that has real seeds in it. But nobody's stepping up in the spiritual community. Everybody's just talking and just praying to God. Just talking and just praying to God. Lord, please. Lord, please. Well, please help us rise up. Please, Lord, please just bring a blessing down on us. Lord, just please just make money fall off on trees. Folks, we living in the real world to where we have to express God's principles in real time. If we don't express and exercise godly principles in real time this here Sunday, then people are going to just run all over us. What happened right now, what's happening right now with this guy, Donald Trump? I don't know. I don't care about Donald Trump. I don't care about President Joe Biden. I don't even care about politics. But damn it, my finances have not been right. And I'm pretty sure yours have not been the way that you wanted them to be either the past four years. And you starting to wonder, who is responsible for this? Because I know it's not you because you work hard to make your money and pay for your family and get your wages and, and get your earnings at your job. You work hard for that. You feel me? You work hard for that. But at some point, you got to say, who's the one cutting the checks? Who's really responsible for my low income salary? Who? Why am I not able to live my dreams? You know what I mean? You might be in your 30s, 20s, 40s, 50s, and you're just like, yo, I have never lived the American dream. Who's keeping me from actually accomplishing my goals? Folks, sad to say, but we live in the United States of America. This is the soil that we live in, okay? We do not stay in Africa. This is not Russia. This is not Europe, okay? This is not South America, okay? This is not any other six continents, all right? This is the United States of America, and I'm sorry to say, but shit here is hitting the fan. And if people don't do anything about it, especially you and me, if we don't do anything about it, spiritual people, then the people are going to run all over us. There is no God in the, in the clouds. There is no God in the stars. There is no God. God is God, but he's not going to do something for us that we can do for ourselves. God is not going to do something. God, God is so powerful that he will send his son, Jesus, to be a representation of him. He's not going to come down here himself and be like, all right, it's over. I'm, it's the end games. I'm going to change everything. God is not, he's too powerful to do that. That's why he's saying his only begotten son as a representation to be a representation of him and be symbolic. You feel me? Same thing with us. We are representations of him okay and so if we sit back and continue to let these political monsters just override our futures and our kids futures we're never going to ever be anything we're never going to get to go anywhere everybody's going to always be struggling everybody's going to always be working a nine to five everybody's never going to feel good about themselves and this country is going to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse like it's been for the past three four years okay and it's gotten even worse up until this election time. I don't know if y'all know this because y'all don't watch the news. I'm, I'm sorry. I know y'all don't be aware of y'all surroundings. But folks, it's so bad nowadays that people are just getting killed left and right. Police officers are getting killed. 
uh, people that are loot, people are looting. It's crazy, bro. They won't even let Young Thug out of jail. You know, if they won't let Young Thug out of jail, that's how desperate the government is. And safe to say that the government that's in control right now is the Democratic Party, folks. And so let me educate you. Let me educate you because I'm I'm not left wing. I'm not right wing. I'm not none of that. But I've become aware, like God has really enlightened me to become aware of politics. And that's why I'm trying to get y'all on this, the same bandwagon that I'm on. Because I now, I, once upon a time, I didn't know a damn thing about politics when I was back in the day. I didn't know shit about politics. But now I'm like so hip to what the fuck is going on when it comes to politics. I can see that right now, this administration that we are up, 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 up under, this umbrella that we are up under right now is a, not a good um, umbrella, y'all. It's a bad policy. It's a bad administration, okay? These people are evil, folks. It's so evil that the former president of the United States of America, who is not currently president, was almost assassinated yesterday. And I know you don't care about that because you don't, you don't think about stuff like that, but I, your big brother does. I do. I do think about stuff like that because I care about people and I don't want to see people get hurt. I don't want to see a former president get killed. They almost killed this man. They tried to kill this man just so the powers that be can continue to have their power. And y'all know how it feels right now, right? I've had seven people text me over the past three days and say, Trent, I need some money, Trent, Trent. And these are people that I will never, ever expect to ever ask me for financial provisions. Do you understand what I'm getting at here? Do you get it? I've had so many people text me and be like, Trent, give me some money, Trent, I need this, Trent, I need... I ain't even gonna lie, even myself has reached out to people and been like, hey, can I borrow this from you? Can I need, can you help me with that? Can you help me? Even myself had did that. If we are getting to the point that we are having to need our brothers and our sisters to help us with resources and provisions because we cannot accumulate it with ourselves, no matter how hard we try, um, no matter if you're in India, okay? Because one of the guys I know, he's from India. No matter, one of the guys I know was from Australia that asked me for something. This is a worldwide thing, folks. The whole world is looking at America because we are the head and not the tail, okay? We are the head of everything. So basically, everybody looking at us as an example, okay? So us as chosen ones, we got to step up. We got to step up and we got to like make a stand and say, you know what? We don't want to allow this evil to happen. But this is evil. This is evil, folks. I've seen people get killed in Israel. Israelis have been getting killed. Um, people in Hamas and stuff bomb um, Israel. They slaughter these people. Uh, I've seen too many Ukrainians get killed. You know what I mean? And and Russia have went to war with Ukraine. So I'm not gonna get into why all that stuff happened. But all I'm saying is, in the last four years, that's what this administration has allowed because we are the ones that everybody looks up to. Is the United States of America? Everybody wants to come to America because. It's a land of opportunity, it's a land of free, and it's supposed to be the land of the brave. You understand what I'm saying? And so, if we don't, basically what I'm saying in a nutshell, y'all, if we have to step up as a spiritual community, we got the power to change this whole thing. And I can tell y'all from my nine years of experience of doing this on YouTube, becoming a political warrior, spiritual warrior that I am now, this administration is not it. Okay, they are not it. They are not it. Trump, they don't want, look, they already don't tried to indict this man with 36 felonies or convictions or whatever for whatever. Don't y'all don't even know what he's convicted for, but y'all be like, he a felon, he a felon, he a felon. Does anybody know what he could convicted for? Nobody knows how many 36 counts of what? We don't know. But this just goes to show you how people gaslight you. They do me the same way. They be like, Trent, you did this. You said that. You had this girl in the video. You did this. You did that. Oh my God, Trent is unraveling. She did this. He did that. He's breaking down. He's going through troubles now, y'all. We ain't never seen Trent talk about how he's going to commit suicide. We, Oh my God, he did that. Trent drunk Kool-Aid today with a can of the dry. Oh my God, Trent did that. I get it every single day from thousands and thousands of people. You feel me? I get it every single day from thousands and thousands, thousands and thousands of people. So for me to see another man that's wrongly convicted of 36, that don't even make any sense for somebody to be convicted of 36 counts of we don't know what. And then they try to assassinate this man. 
That just goes to show you how much Decepticons want to take this man out because they are afraid of what he might establish for us. Okay, and I know this is the first time. This is the first time that you have been interested in politics. Okay, I get it. Well, let me enlighten you. You stay on American soil. You have to go outside and drive on your streets and stand between the lines of the road. You have to pay taxes. If you have a business and you're a business owner, you have to pay taxes too, much more than regular people. If you make over six figures, your interest and your tax is way more higher than regular people. Let me keep it moving. You you, you own student loans. Uh, it, this matters with your student loan debt. Okay, you do have credit, right? You have credit, right? And you have to pay your creditors and everybody who's giving you money. Your rent is due, okay? You don't even know how much money you're going to have before your rent comes up next month. You got a car payment that you got to pay for. You don't know how that's going to get paid for. You're trying to go to a loan place and trying to get them to give you a loan. That loan place is charging you 123% interest. And if you don't pay them day by day, they're going to keep raising it. They already, the administration and the government is responsible for this, folks, and that's what I'm saying. If we don't get somebody in the government right now that's for the people still, the least that we have, this shit is going to run them up. That's why I got my passport ready to go. I'm ready to go right now. I'm this close to leaving the country. I am this close to leaving the country, but I still got a little bit of faith, but my faith is running out. I, I almost got the faith of a mustard seed at this point. And I'm trying not to have a faith of a mustard seed. I'm trying to have the faith of an apple or an orange or a pear or, you know, any type of fruit that's bigger than a mustard seed to not leave my country that I love called the United States of America. But I really believe in y'all and I really believe that we can step up and we can make a change in the political party, the political system of this country, and we can take it back with this guy, Donald Trump. I don't know Trump. I don't care what his rhetoric is like. I don't care what he says. I don't give a fuck about what the motherfucker says. I don't give a fuck. As long as somebody can get this economy right and where baby mamas can get their fucking bill money and they can get their child support rolling in, you know what I'm saying? And people can keep their food stamps going and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? And we can live good to where I can go on a picnic with my family and I stop beefing with my brothers and I stop beefing with my sisters. That's all the fuck I want in the office. I want somebody in the office that's going to help the economy so we can all be cool and don't have to worry about money. I am so fucking sick and tired of worrying about money. It's about to make my head blow. I'm so sick and tired of worrying about fucking money in this country that my fucking brain is going berserk right now. How do we end that, folks? Get this fucking administrator out, this administration out. Every, all the money that we've made has been sent to wars, y'all. These motherfuckers are evil. They trying to kill people. They doing genocide. Every fucking thing, man. I'm telling you, man. Trust me, bro. I've been watching this shit. I've been watching the news. I've been watching everything. They want to kill people, man. They trying to kill you. They made you take a dopamine shot. Everything. They trying to kill niggas, man. They want us to be apart and separate. Men versus women. Women versus men. All this shit didn't start happening until they got into the administration. These niggas are evil. I'm telling you, bro. That's why they tried to kill Trump. Because they don't want him to make America great again, folks. They don't want him to make it beautiful. Where everybody's living a positive lifestyle. White people love black people. Black people don't like... the Black people like white people. Every Kids is obedient to their parents. They're not in the streets doing gang wars and shit. Listen. Trust me. Get your votes up, man. Get, get voted up right now. Because this shit is for real, man. Just like that restaurant. These motherfuckers are so dumb, they ain't even want to put on the news that the former president was about to be assassinated. That is how discombobulated our country has become, man. To the point that we don't even care. People have gotten to the point they don't even care about politics. The very policies that rule and govern their fucking community and their, their, their livelihood, people are like, we don't care anymore because we don't feel like we have a voice. I'm saying here to say you do have a voice. You do have a voice. You do have a voice. Vote, okay? Get out there and vote. This shit is not over yet. We got to vote. We got to stand on our rights. We got to stand up for what we believe in. If you military, stand up for what the fuck you believe in and stop letting these motherfuckers run this shit, man. You feel me? It's your big bro, Tran, man. That's all I got to say. I'm going to let you get on your way. Happy Sunday. God bless everybody out there. Y'all stay on top. And stay up. Stay attentive to what's going on right now, okay? This is serious business, folks, okay? You can be as spiritual as you want, but you're not a spiritual person if you're not attentive to your surroundings, all right? I'm gone. Peace.